Do you think too many people are not giving Triple G enough respect? I think he looks great. I mean, you know, people talk about his age. I think he looks great. I really believe that 168 is going to help him a lot because you can't, in my opinion, fight the same weight for as many years he's been doing. You saw in the Murata fight, you know, it was difficult for him to make that weight. He's going to be bigger and stronger at 68. He's going to be more robust. And Canelo's like, he's like a Rottweiler. He's got to be a little bit careful. Like he, he said in the media huddle earlier, you were there, that he's going to go like, mm -hmm. he's going to be ruthless. He's almost going to go without fear, which is like, to do that against a huge puncher like Gennady Golovkin. I mean, listen, for the fans and for us, it's incredible, but it's a very, very dangerous way to fight Gennady Golovkin, although he did it in the second fight. But I just feel like this fight won't go 12 rounds. You, know, you keep saying, and Canelo is also saying, that he hasn't had as much animosity with anybody. Never but, seen him like this. Well, he was like that with, with Caleb Plant. There was yeah, a lot of animosity. Not, to be honest with you, I wasn't involved with that fight. Mm -hmm. One. Number two, that was obviously from the first presser. And after that, it sort of calmed down a little bit. But this is, deep, this is deeper. Like from the first fight, like I said, you don't need Canelo Alvarez to sell pay-per-views. You, you would never say to Canelo, oh, you know, at the head-to-head, -head, make sure you get up close to him. He's too big a star for that. He's doing it off his own back, and he did it again today. Like he's, there's something inside him for this fight, and he wants Gennady to say what he's been saying to the media. That's why I called those quotes out today. I want it, you know, because on one hand, Gennady says, I respect him, it's not about that. And on the other hand, you look at what he said, and, you know. Well, that was the thing, because at the, at the round table, Canelo said it again, but he never actually said, you know, what pisses him off about what Triple G said until I actually asked him. Yeah. So, why don't you think um, Triple G wants to say those type of stuff think, to his face? I think it's important for Triple G, that face of respect and sportsmanship in the sport. And I don't think he wants to play that game of, but he said it in the past, but he said it probably out of frustration or after a fight or, you know, when he's been provoked. But there was a little bit more from him up there, you know, when he talked about, you know, he, he feels like it's going to be the best Triple G you've ever seen in this fight. And him and Jonathan Banks truly believe they will win this fight. And uh, it's a tough ask, but I think it's going to be a thriller. Eddie, gotcha. in regards to um, people not giving Triple G the credit or whatnot because of the age, how important is it for you as a promoter to kind of guide Triple G for the biggest fight after the Canelo fight at 60 or 68? Yeah, the he, meters, the of course, this is the natural fight to make. You know, it's the biggest fight in boxing. And I don't see other fights that motivate either man. For, for Canelo Alvarez, there's only two fights he's interested in. This one and the Bivol rematch. You know, other than that, do the fights motivate him? They, they become money fights, you know? And I don't think Canelo Alvarez is in the game for money fights. I think that's why you saw him move up to 75 to fight Bivol. He wants to be challenged, he wants to be tested. So I just feel that these, these are the kind of fights that excite him. Um, but And for Triple G, coming off having to go to Japan after what, nearly 500 days out of the ring in, in Murata's backyard and stop him, in a performance that some people say, oh, he didn't look that good. Right, for two rounds, he looked rusty in that fight. And I think he's, he finds it hard to make 160. Yeah. He still went through the gears and smashed him to pieces in Tokyo and stopped him to unify the division. So, you know, you're going to see, I think, a strong, robust Gennady Golovkin on September 17th. And I think, I, I agree, I don't think either fight, fighter will take a step backwards. In regards to the 